Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We have some special friends in the dump truck. They're in the sand. Let's dump them out and see who it is. Look who it is, our Sesame Street friends. Oscar the Grouch, Grover, Abby, Elmo, and Cookie Monster. What color are our Sesame Street friends? Light blue, green, dark blue, pink, and red. Thanks for learning with us today. It's time to give Puppy a little swim in the cool water. What color is Puppy's life jacket? Blue, black, and silver. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We have a very fun Sesame Street toy and we call it the Plinko Sesame Street game. You can see things spinning, turning, and we have something called gears and they have different faces from our Sesame Street friends on them. There's a blue Grover gear, a purple count gear, a pink telly gear, a green Oscar the Grouch gear, a red Elmo gear, a yellow Bert gear, and finally, blue Cookie Monster gear. And watch what happens when we put one of the gears at the top of the Plinko machine. Whoa! Grover spun fast. Let's try it one more time. We need to put them at the top of the ramp. Now if we close the blue ramp and the door is now shut, we'll put Count at the very top of the ramp. And he still rolls all the way to the bottom. Let's open the door and put Telly at the top of the ramp and watch what happens now. Uh-oh, Telly's stuck. We need to spin Ernie to make the gears go round and round to get Telly to the bottom. And once Telly's at the bottom, it can spin and spin and spin as long as you want it to. Let's get all of our pieces to the bottom and spin them all together. And this is how gears work. When one spins, they all spin. There are gears in a bike and gears in a car. Okay, tiny fans, did you spot the Dora backpack somewhere earlier in the video? If not, you can go back to look. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are outside with Elmo and Cookie Monster and they are sitting by an old birdhouse. Let's have a look inside and peek through the hole. Oh my goodness. It looks like part of a wasp's nest. I don't see any wasps, thank goodness. Usually wasps die off in the fall and only the queen will hibernate in the winter. But I don't even see a queen. Cookie Monster wants to show us what today's letter is. It's the letter E. E for egg. And the reason we say the word egg is because we are going to search for the golden egg today. It's a little cold outside. 
So it's a good thing that Cookie Monster and Elmo have thick fur to keep them warm. And they have large eyes to help them see. Do you see the golden egg, Tiny Fans? Can you let Elmo and Cookie Monster know if you see it? Oh, I think I've spotted something shiny in gold. Do you see it? There's the golden egg. Ooh, it's very pretty. And it even says the golden egg. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hey there, Elmo. We've come to visit Elmo and his friends at 123 Sesame Street. And we have so many windows to open and buttons to push. There's one, two, and three windows to open. Who could be behind them? Let's open red one. Hello. Oh, hello, Big Bird. No. Blue number two. And yellow three. Okay, now let's close the windows. Now one more switch. What's this purple switch on the side do? It changes the pictures. Oh, there's Abby. What now, Elmo? Yes, she was behind door number two. and Abby's down there. I see the purple switch changes all of the pictures in the window. Ernie and Abby have left the building and went for a walk on this beautiful sunny fall day. Can you spot them? And if you love our videos, please help support our channel by hitting the red subscribe button or the link below. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We have Bert, Elmo, and Grover. Oh, and what's beside them, Tiny fans? A huge purple starfish. And even though it looks soft, it's actually quite rough. You give it a feel, Bert. And there's more over there. And I found an orange one, too. The tide comes up and the starfish Grab onto the side of the rocks. This poor guy is missing an arm. Some starfish can grow a whole new arm back if one has been broken off. And the end of this one is broken off too. Probably from the waves smashing it against the rocks. Grover wants to show us the sea anemones. He found some green ones. The top part has the tentacles. And the bottom part sucks onto rocks or 
In this case, when we went to the aquarium, it was suctioned on to the side of the glass. Look at the gigantic rocks. And what's stuck onto the rocks? They are called barnacles, and they help clean the ocean water for other ocean creatures. Ooh, what is this? It's quite hard. There are so many things to explore in the tide pools, but we must be gentle with live creatures and we need to make sure not to touch anything poisonous. So it's always important to have an adult that knows what creatures are safe to touch. Look at the little crab hiding in the seaweed. It has to be careful because a sea anemone could grab hold and eat it. Look how slowly and carefully he moves. Whoa, Elmo found a pool with many, many sea anemones together. Grover found a huge pile of mussels that washed up onto shore. Look at them all. One thing I don't like to see in tide pools is plastic. I've spotted a white plastic bag and it's important to help clean up litter, especially near water. This plastic can become very small pieces called microplastics that sea life can swallow. Eventually, the fish we eat have plastic in them, which means we're eating plastic. Plastic is very toxic. I started to search the beach and started to find plastic all over. Here is a disposable plastic flosser that somehow ended up in the ocean. And Bert found plenty of elastic hairbands. They're made of plastic too. See how plastic looks when it starts to break into smaller pieces? It looks like food to other animals like sea turtles and whales. And plastic ends up in their bellies. We all need to do our part to keep our ocean safe. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with Abby from Sesame Street and Abby loves origami and so do my kids. And origami paper can come in all different colors. Oh, this kaleidoscope rainbow one is beautiful. And a rainbow rose. Oh, and this is a honeycomb the inside of a shell. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and my favorite kind of feathers, peacock, peacock feather. Some leaves. And this is an up close look of a leaf and leaves actually have veins like we do. All right, Abby, let's make a craft with our origami paper. we've decided to make a paper origami fidget toy. And we are using this beautiful rainbow origami paper. We followed instructions and it was fairly easy to make. We needed to add one piece at a time until it turned into a round wreath. Isn't it beautiful? Now to test our fidget toy out. I'm going to be very careful. It's supposed to be able to flip. Very carefully. It's working. Oh no. It came apart, sorry, Abby. 
that's okay. We can put it back together and we'll give it one more try. And even if it doesn't work, it's still a beautiful piece of art. You can try to make your own origami creations by looking at a book or a how-to video. And I'd love to see them. Get your parents to send me a picture on our Facebook page. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Oh, please hit the link below to subscribe. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We have a new Sesame Street book called Love. And there are four Sesame Street characters on the cover of the book. And let's lift the book and who do you see? Big Bird, Abby, Elmo, and Cookie Monster. And we have all four of our toys here, but we need to switch Cookie Monster and Abby. There, now you're in the right order. You ready to listen to a book about L-O-V-E? Love? Love is a sunny day. That's right, Big Bird. I love the sunshine. It makes me feel happy. Love is dancing by yourself to your favorite song. Love is being an everyday hero. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Love is infinite, bigger than all of the numbers. Love comes in all shapes and sizes. Love is building something together. Love is giggles and kisses and hugs and squishes. Love sings in every language. La 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 la. Love is being kind to all your best friends. Love makes all kinds of sounds. Honk, honk. I like it messy. Love is accepting life even when it is messy. Love is an amazing family and a soft bunny. Love is cookies and then more cookies. Love is magical and full of wonder. Love is everywhere and all around us. Oh, and there's Elmo on the last page and the backs of the characters. Now, what I like to tell my kids, tiny fans, is most importantly, you need to love yourself. Every morning, say something kind to yourself. And at night, think about what you're grateful for. I know what I'm grateful for, my fans, my family, my pets, and my life. Now please support our channel, Tiny Fans, by hitting the link below. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today our toys are going for a little drive to look for some popular snacks in our house. My kids always say, I'm hungry, Mom and I want them to choose healthy snacks to eat. But first, I need your help, Tiny Fans. We have four cars and four toys. Which car do you think Abby 
is going to drive. Abby the fairy is going to drive in a pink convertible. Convertible has no top. This is Tom the taxi driver. He's dressed in yellow and black. Which car do you think is his? I think it's the yellow car that says T-A-X-I, which spells taxi. Now it's between Elmo and Donald Duck. Donald is dressed in blue, yellow, and red. Do you see his car? There it is, which means Elmo drives the red convertible. Donald is in the front of the line. Next is Abby, then Elmo, and the last car is the taxi. Oh, look, our first snack. The kids love to snack on organic dried bananas. They're crunchy and have just the right amount of sweetness. Okay, let's move on to the next snack. The kids also like to snack on these rice crackers wrapped in seaweed. Seaweed is full of nutrients, it has a salty flavor. And the toys have one more snack to show you. A healthy snack wouldn't be complete without a fresh fruit or vegetable. We have some organic orange slices and some blueberries. Oranges are full of vitamin C and they keep us healthy. Fresh fruits and vegetables should be eaten every single day. What's your favorite fruit? It's time to eat toys. And we don't want to let any of the food go to waste. There are four toys to share all the food, but there were Three little ducks hiding in one of the cars. Do you know where they would be? And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the kids built a giant fort in the living room. And our toys are playing fort too. We have our Sesame Street toys in the polka dot tent and our Daniel Tiger toys with Katarina Kitty, Woody, Buzz and Forky, and Peppa and her brother George in the blue tent. Are you ready to see the giant tent? Uh oh, look who's inside. Kitty loves to play in the forts we build. And so does Poppy. Look as he crawls across the carpet. Come on, puppy. <laughs> He's even dragging his back legs. Good boy. The kids have used the dollhouse as part of the fort. It holds up the blankets really high. They used blankets, old sheets, clips, and chairs. Let's go see what all of our toys are doing inside the big fort. Ooh, there's a book. And look, it's Peppa Pig and George. They're resting on a pillow on a big fuzzy blanket. This is the reading corner of the fort. And over here, there's a little box of Kleenex for runny noses and a compost, towels to put down when they're eating. And the little play fort in the corner is where Daniel Tiger and his sister have their fort schedule. Oh, okay, so at 9 o'clock, it is playtime. 
10 o'clock is reading a school activity, then chores, lunch, baking, outside time, journal play time, and hang out in the fort. And it is 1.44 p.m. So we've just finished baking, and that means we will have outside time. Yay, it's sunny out. Okay, let's keep exploring the fort. Okay, so there's another room in here past the pink blanket. And we have Elmo. Oh, Elmo, that's not safe to stand up there. And we have Oscar and Cookie Monster riding the pink swing. Oh, and Puppy wants to show us the fridge. Oh, and look, it's Woody, Buzz, and Forky. The kids each have waters. I see a banana and a little lunch kit. Ooh, it's rainbow and purple in color. Let's unzip it and see what the kids have packed for snack. I hope they've made some healthy choices. There's two containers. The blue one is empty, but I wonder what's in the metal one. <gasps> Ooh, some cut up carrots. <laughs> I can see Puppy's nose smelling the food. Not for you, Puppy. It's okay. Oh, he doesn't like the loud sound this metal container makes. It's okay, puppy. Building a fort is a fun way to spend your time at home. You can get creative. Thanks for exploring ours with us. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today our Sesame Street friends are going on a paddleboard with me. The lake is nice and calm. I love getting outside and enjoying nature and getting exercise at the same time. Here's my paddle. I'm going to have to use my muscles to row us through the water. I'll put our Sesame Street friends in this container to keep them dry as I paddle. It's got a floaty attached so it won't sink. And I hurt my thumb as I close the container. I'll have to put a band-aid on when I get home. We found a big log floating in the lake. As you can see, there's a lot of debris floating on the surface of the water. That's because when it's hot, all the snow from the mountains melts and comes down from the creeks. And it causes the water to rise up onto the shores. Look up above, it's an airplane. The toys want to go for a swim on this hot day, but we need to make sure they float. We don't want to lose them. Perfect. Grover's light enough that he floats on the surface of the water. Everybody jump in. Abby goes first. Then Elmo. Next is Oscar. And Cookie Monster. Don't float too far away. I'll use my paddle to keep them close. And the log acts like a wall in the water. Let's see if we can balance the toys on the log. This is perfect, as long as the log doesn't float away from me. Ta-da! Let's go for a little ride on the log. It's like a boat for the toys. Okay, toys, it's time to get back on the paddleboard. Oh no! Cookie Monster is floating away. Phew, I grabbed him just in time and I didn't even fall in and get wet. Luckily, I have my life jacket on, so if I had to go and get him, I'd be okay. One, two, three, four, five. We have all of our characters. I'm going to strap them to the board so they don't fall off as I continue on my paddleboard ride. 
Elmo's the smallest, so he's not strapped in properly. We'll place him over here. Let's continue on. How about we have a look in the water and see what we can find? I see lots of sticks. What's this? It's a wet bird feather. Hmm, I wonder what kind of bird this came from. Well, that's the end of our paddleboard ride. We've taken it out of the water, and now we need to take the fin off and deflate the board. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. <laughs>